Hi, this is Joe with PHE Recovery and Performance. If you remember, we divided health into four components, movement, diet, recovery, and mindset. In this video, we're gonna look at the movement component of your health. We're gonna look at benefits of movement and ways to add movement to your day. Before we talk about movement, we're gonna take a quick detour and look at the lymphatic system. So where does lymph come from? So lymph is simply the clear liquid or the plasma from your blood flowing through a different system. Nothing too complex about that. The lymphatic system has several important functions in your body. It maintains the fluid balance between your blood and your tissues. It forms part of your body's immune system and helps defend against bacteria and other intruders. And it also facilitates the absorption of fat and fat soluble nutrients in the digestive system. So you can see the lymphatic system is pretty important. Here's a diagram of the lymphatic system, and it's not important to get caught up in where the different lymph nodes or the lymphatic ducts are. Just notice that the lymphatic system is throughout your whole body. So now back to the benefits of movement. This lymphatic system doesn't have a pump. Your cardiovascular system has a pump, the heart. The lymphatic system relies on muscle compression to pump or help circulate the lymph throughout it. So as you move, your muscles contract and it squeezes the lymph ducts, which causes the lymphatic fluid to circulate. Other benefits of movement include counteracting the effects of sitting. Studies have shown that sitting a lot has negative health effects, even if you have regular exercise as part of your healthy habits. Counteracting the effects of sitting include improvements in cardiovascular disease and help with weight or fat loss. Walking after eating helps minimize the spike in insulin that your body is producing after eating. Insulin is secreted to help lower your blood sugar. Walking after eating helps minimize that spike so you don't get as high of an insulin spike after eating. Also, movement has been shown to improve mental health, meaning depression or anxiety. Here are some easy ways to add movement to your day. Just take a walk in the morning, after meals, in the evening. We'll talk about the benefits of morning sunlight in a different video, but just know that walking in the morning is very beneficial for your health. Park further away from stores or work or restaurants. If you park further away, you have to walk further. Take the stairs versus the elevator. You can use a standing desk. Now standing isn't the opposite of sitting. Movement is the opposite of sitting. However, using a standing desk allows you to move from a standing to a seated position, or while you're standing, you're more inclined to make small movements while you're working. Another way to add movement to your day is taking a movement break. Instead of a coffee break or a water break, just take a movement break, stand up, stretch, take a short walk. Finally, another option is to take your conference calls or phone calls while walking or standing. These simple ways can add movement to your day and improve your health.